Start of a big week. Yeah, um, no, very exciting. Um, I think you know, at the start of the year we wanted to be a part of these big games, and you know, coming in yesterday there was a real excitement and uh, you know a real a want to, to perform and keep this momentum that we've got going through the, through the whole playoffs. Are you going sort of very much as underdogs? Do you think? Yeah, probably. Like we're the away team. Um, Leinster were top for pretty much most of the league until the last few weeks, and um, you know they, they got the European semi as well. So they they'll have a lot of confidence. Um, but I think what we can do is concentrate on ourselves, go quietly about our business, and um, you know we we shouldn't fear anyone really. You know we've we've shown in the last few weeks that we've got. Uh, Good form. Uh, we're playing with a lot of confidence, but it's making sure that we don't um, rest on laurels as such, really, and make sure that we work hard this week and you know turn up on Friday night to you know get a big victory for this club. Is there much of a difference in in attitude and uh, personnel this time from the last time? I think you know we're we're a lot more settled uh, this time round. I think if I can remember correctly, like we're going in. With five wins on the bounce now, um, I think last time we lost to Treviso at home, was it? Or we lose? points? Yeah, yeah. I, I totally forgot about that until <laughs> Ken told me about it. I think it was like a suppressed memory. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I think we're, we're in a much better position. We were comfortable in what the coaches won from us in attack and defence, and um, you know, I think we, we can go out there and you know. Hopefully, match a very good Leinster, city, Leinster team and you know compete. And you know, I think we, we should back ourselves with our ability to you know cause an upset there. They've scored a lot of tries this season. They've really got some firepower there, haven't they? They have, you know. And I think you look over the years, Leinster have probably been the best, like probably first three phase attacking team for a long time. You know, they're very uh, well drilled. They all know, understand what they need to achieve on set moves. So. Defensively, we have to be really organised to make sure that you know, we just stick to our structures, don't force, try and force turnovers or anything like that. Just, just buy into the system Byron's uh, put in place, and um, you know I think our defence this year has been very good, um, and we'll have to make sure there's a big uh, defence there on Friday. And I think the big, the main thing is matching the tempo lengths to have an attack. We have to almost. Improve on that in our in our defence. Um, you know, we have to make sure that we're in position before them to make sure that we want to bring the physicality that we have done over the last few weeks. Who's key? What what has clicked, John? Or is it a case of something just clicking, or is it a case of just perseverance with how how we wanted to play this season? Uh, I think it's it is perseverance, yeah. uh, time on the field together, yeah. um, understanding um, what we want to achieve as a attacking squad yeah. and um, you know I think it's, it's it's just been a lot of fun as well which yeah. I think is the main thing yeah. you know the style of play we play everyone enjoys it as well and I think um, that's been a big uh, positive for us as a group to make sure that you know we know we're not playing negative rugby as such we're, we're going out to win and yeah. score tries and um, traditionally that's what we've wanted to do and that's you know what we've done in the last few weeks as well so I think it's Working hard and making sure that you know we listen to what Steve wants in yeah. attack, and uh, I think you know all that hard work's paid off at the moment. But you know we still got hopefully a couple more weeks to go. Yeah, what's it been like working with Steve? It's been great. You know, I think he's he as as no one ever playing with him for a number of years. Um, he was always had great energy on the training field, and he, he's brought that into his coaching. As well, but you know, he demands high standards. Um, you know, there's a lot of players here with um, in the backs with international experience, and um, you know, he expects us to make sure that standards in training don't slip off. And inevitably, I think that's what's helped us uh, become more accurate, take chances when you know when we get them, because inevitably, like they, there isn't that many on the field, and you know, I think our conversion rate to when we get behind teams, get momentum has been pretty good. Yeah. Is that, does he give you that sort of license just to go out and express yourself as well? Is that part of his philosophy in terms of where you're playing at the moment? Yeah, I think it's a case of like 
making sure that we're all in the positions that he wants us to be. Like I think you know, we, how we want to play is to get best athletes on the ball as much as we can. Um, you know, I think John McNichols, you know, towards the back end of the season, has looked really comfortable with the ball, and you know, he looks a real threat. And you know, we want him on the ball. We want Liam on the ball, and um, you know, boys like Scotty as well. You know, so it's we're very fortunate with the firepower that we have, and it's making sure that. We, when we get those opportunities, the communications up to identify them and put these boys on the ball. Wayne mentioned at a press conference last week that he thought yourself you were hit in top form at, at the perfect time of the Lions tour ahead. How, how do you feel the season's gone for you, John, in terms of? Your... Yeah, like it was like coming back. I had, I had a lot of expectation on me personally. Yeah. I put a lot of pressure on myself to perform, yeah. and you know probably didn't go the way I wanted to at the start of the year and. You know, I just had to persevere, um, keep working hard, and you know, just you know, listen to what the coaches want. Obviously, coming from a, another setup, yeah. back here, obviously, everything's changed from when I was here last time. So it, it took a while to find my feet again, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's been great. You know, I've loved it being back here, and yeah. um, I think it's the fact, like I said, I'm I'm enjoying my rugby, um, yeah. and you know, it's it's going you know, reasonably well. I'm pretty happy at the moment, yeah. so. But um, yeah, it's it's just been a lot of fun as well. Yeah, you had a chance to speak to any of the Leinster boys last week in London. The ones I played with and against, you know, you've got a lot of respect for them, and I think um, you know they, they'll be ready to perform. You know, they they, they love the big stage as well. Um, you know, for us, it's just making sure that you know we don't get uh, in all the situation. You know, like I think. It's important this week that us experienced players make sure that the boys who quite haven't been there yeah. um, just make them understand the, you know, the occasion and you know, not to you know, be afraid of it. Just you know, take it in and you know, go out there and show what you can do on a, a massive stage. You won at the RDS. Yeah, um, 2007. Um, I think I was, was that the last time. Have the Scarlets won since? No, what? 50 point yeah, yeah, 50 points. Yeah, through the World Cup that was. Yeah. I was on the bench. But, yeah. but was, some would say, you know, look, looking at it, it could be viewed as a daunting task. I think the record is nobody's won away in an away semi final, but it is what it is, is knockout rugby. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I think everyone has a chance, everyone has a fighter's chance. And, you know, we if people are going to write them off, uh, write this off, sorry, um, you know, they can do that. Um, we won't, won't bother us. You know, we know that we've got a lot of talent in the group. Our talent's performing. We're working as a unit, and you know, I think it's it's a good place to be here at the moment. You know, and we have a, a goal of finish off the season on a high, and you know, we don't want that season to finish Friday. So, for us, it's making sure that we, we don't lose sight of that. Um, you know, after you know, good performance against the Ospreys and. You know, we were said last week we had our end of season dinner last week, and it was, uh, someone said it's nice to have the end of season dinner before the season's over. Um, so, you know, we want to make sure that we, you know, we got another week to prepare for, and that starts with making sure we get a good win on Friday. That try, uh, the Shingler try, sort of epitomises, I, I guess, everything that uh, Steve Jones wanted you to do, is it? Yeah, I was, that, that was a beauty. I was telling Liam to kick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we were winning a few points at the, the time, and I think it was, you know, it was quite a quick game at times. But then once I saw him run it back, he was making sure that, you know, we we have to get behind the ball and stuff like that. So yeah, it was it was a great try, and uh, it was, I think it won try of the season. I think with us with a vote in as well. So um, the boys did enjoy it. It was a good try, and like you know we. It just showed at the end like, that the numbers coming through, uh, people want to get their hands on the ball, um, and it, it's a sign of that we're playing with confidence, and it, it's good to see. The, we know all about the strike power behind, but the pack has really stiffened up this season too, isn't it? You, you wouldn't have had as many chances as he had without the effort they've done. Yeah, to be fair, like the, the effort that you know, the forwards have put in was huge. I think Steph's try in the first half was down to you know, forward dominance in the scrum. You know, we, we had a chat with Gareth, just before the scrum, we said you know um, their blind side was going to have to scrum his hard, so it, it would be on for Gareth to get outside of him, and you know that's only down to our forward pack giving us um, a platform to play off, and it's you know it it has been a pleasure to play off this year. You know I think um, 
it's, it's a tough task coming uh, this week, but I think they they relish the opportunity going up against a you know a very strong team. Yeah, because if, you, if you're going to win at the weekend, it's probably going to be down to them, isn't it? Yeah, and you know they're going to have to work their socks off, and you know for us, it's making sure that we keep doing what we're doing as a as a backline to make sure that you know when they give us the opportunities we have to take them. You know, I think the confidence the forwards are playing now, the the ability and how comfortable they are with ball in hand. We're in the past potentially like some of the some of the front five forwards would have the ball and look to pass and decide, oh no, I'm not quite comfortable and at times when we had turnovers against the Ospreys and in recent weeks we're just they're comfortable to put that ball through their hands and that's I think one of the main reasons why we're playing with such confidence is that we're getting the ball through each other's hands and you know all the hard work Steve's put in with everyone is, is paying off with being able to put each other in good positions. So Shingler's was the try of the season, the pass of the season was Rob Evans against the Ospreys, was it? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, <laughs> see, that's all he wants. I think he was he was gutted. He wasn't in, enough on the highlights video at the end of the season. Oh. Um, I think he expected himself to be on there a bit more. He's like, oh, why aren't there any scrums? I said, Rob, no one wants to see a scrum on a highlights package. Um, but no, no, he's playing with a lot of confidence. And it, you know, he, after coming back from a, a big injury in the summer, um, you know, he, he's a big part of our team, and you know, I think the whole front row are working as a great unit, to be honest. Are you totally focused this week on, well, you obviously are, on, on Friday, but are you joining up with the Lions at all? Are you going you go for dinner on Tuesday? or No, no, no. no. Um, so it's head know, down and... Head down yeah. um, and just concentrate on that. This is this is my main focus now. You know, I'd, uh, I'd love you know come back here to play for my home region, and I couldn't think of anything better than winning uh, a trophy with them as well. I just a final thought on Liam? Um, Last couple of games. You just look how you know how big influential he's been in our in our performances, uh, the tries he scored and created, and you know he's he's up there with you know some of the best players in the world. You know people, he can do it all. You know he, yeah. he defensively outstanding in the contact area. He's turned the ball over numerous times on on our line to get the ball back and and attack attack, and he's just as good. You know I think. Um, It'd be a massive loss to this region, um, but you know you wish him well um, on the future, and hopefully we can give the boys, you know, uh, a good send-off by hopefully putting a bit of silver on the table.